be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to automate filter sweeps in Logic Pro 10. Now you might be asking if you're brand new to music production, what is a filter sweep? Let's go ahead and jump into all of that. Um, but before we do, I do want to go ahead and let you listen to a little bit of this beat. And then I'm going to go ahead and break down what a filter sweep is and then how to do it and specifically how to automate it in Logic Pro 10. Let's just check out a little bit of this beat and uh, we'll go from there. So that's the beat. Let me go ahead and go to this second uh, verse, basically. Which is going to be right here. Um, and basically what I want to do is differentiate a little bit, but uh, make the second verse just a little bit different than the first verse. Because as you can really look here, I probably should go ahead and just color coordinate these things. Just so you can see the actual different um, sections of the beat easier. Um, but basically, I want to take, I want to, I want to make the the the, uh, the verses a little bit different. I don't want them just to be the same thing over and over again. So this is our first verse. I'm gonna pretty much just leave that alone, and then in the second verse, that's where I want to do the filter sweep. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and go to this second part. What you want to do is. Basically, click on the on the track that you want to do the filter sweep on, okay? And then it's simple. Just go ahead over here. You can make sure that your inspector window's up. Um, I like to do it like that, especially if I'm in the uh, workspace area. And just click on EQ. And um, let me just explain basically what the filter sweep is going to do. Um, say if we're going doing like a, um, a high pass filter. It's gonna sound something like this. Basically, we're taking out some of the highs, and I'm gonna automate this to pretty much do this. You know what I'm saying? If it was a low pass filter, then it basically be taking out the lows. You dig what I'm saying? Same difference, but we're gonna really more so be focusing on like doing a high pass filter. So basically, once you got your um, once you got your 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 EQ set up, and once you also you know enable this last option here the next thing to do is actually to push the letter a on your keyboard and as you're going to see here like i have already have some automation but you're gonna the first thing you're going to see is volume okay and if you want to change between volume and to go to the actual um, eq all you have to do is just click right over here and then what you want to do is go to where you actually see the e, the channel EQ. All right, so this is really gonna only work if you actually go ahead and just enable it by clicking on here to make sure that that plugin is over here. But basically you wanna come over here and uh, yeah, select this uh, high cut frequency. All right, so if we're over here in the second measure and say so I just want this filter sweep to start here on the, you know, 73rd um, measure and go all the way to the 81st then I would just come over here we just click to, to enable a node and I can literally come over here and make this thing go however I want it to so we can come over here and do something like that
And so, as you can see here too, check this out. I'm just gonna zoom in. If you look at this, where I'm, where I'm clicking these little guys, these little points, right? One says 20,000 Hertz. And if you look down here, this one says 20 Hertz, okay? And if we're gonna bring this back up, right? Basically what's going on here is this is going to be like your frequency chart and uh, 20 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz is what, you know, the human ear, the human ear can hear at. And so basically we're going to start this off where this is going to basically start off right here. Um, pretty much where you can't hear anything. There's going to be no highs at all. And it's going to start off very muddy and then this just go ahead and ramp on up. So that's how we have this filter sweep going. So let's just see how it will sound. And it was very simple. If y'all kind of just watch this back, all I did is click the nose here and brought this down, literally. So let me just start it like right here and we're gonna listen how it transitions um, with this filter sweep. <music> We can also come over here and do another filter sweep. So same difference, like if I wanted to, I can have this like go down. So now this one right here on this end is gonna start off with all of the uh, frequencies intact, but then it's gonna slowly start taking away um, some of the highs. So let's listen to how this one's gonna sound. So that's gonna be the basics on how you can do um, a filter sweep, just automate it. Um, it's the same difference like if you wanted to do a different frequency, if you wanted to do a low cut you know, frequency, this would actually take this side of it and move it up you know, or down. And so basically wanna show you that in uh, Linger Pro 10. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more tips like this. Also, make sure you go ahead over to the site beatmakingbasics.com. It's going to be your number one place to get help as a producer, especially just getting started in music production. You know, over here at Beat Making Basics, we really focus in on hip hop, R&B, pop, uh, trap, you know, all the urban genres, even, you know. So if that sounds like something that you will learn how to make in Laundry Pro 10, man, make sure you go to the site, BeMakingBasics.com, download a course, grab our, you know, our loops, our loop packs and, you know, drum packs. Um, make sure you also get the number one, you know, the number one thing, which is one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I'm saying? Like I've seen, I'm going to be honest with y'all, a lot of, I help a lot of people here on this YouTube channel. But then, you know, there's another layer of helping people when people buy the courses. But when you, you do a one on one, I've seen uh, producers, I'm talking about, take their beats all the way to the next level super fast with the one on one service. So just consider, you know, checking out the site and, and, and grabbing something off of there. Um, it's going to help you. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main point of all of this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We're out.